All right, hi everyone, welcome back. I've just got an older video I recorded here on how to paint freehand flames. So what I'm gonna be doing to start is I'm just using Mephiston Red. And I'm just gonna start from the corner. And you wanna kinda of go in like curves. And you wanna build up to the top and then come back down. So you're kinda of doing like almost waves and you start pointing it in the opposite direction once you get to the other side, once you pass that peak of the flame. So just kind of copy the motions I'm using here. And if you make any mistakes, you can always fix it up with the base color in the back. So I have black, so you can just kind of patch it up with black. Right, so now that, that outline's down, I'm just gonna fill it in with that same Mephiston Red. The reason I'm doing the outline first and not just going straight down with my fist in red is it makes it much easier, kind of like filling in like a coloring book, something like that. It just, it's just a much easier method. And it also helps you patch it up with that base color black in case you make any mistakes or you just want it to be crisper. So yeah, just going ahead and filling that in now. All right, so next I'm gonna come in with some of this Evil Sun Scarlet. And I'm just kind of doing the same thing as the first time, but we're gonna leave a lot of that Mephiston Red left. So I'm just following that outline of the red and creating the same shape, but leaving that outline of the Mephiston Red. So try and leave about as much as I'm leaving now. If you're painting a bigger flame than what's on the shoulder pad, leave some more Mephiston Red. Or if smaller, then leave even less, but this is a good amount. Alright, so next up I'll be using Troll Slayer Orange and I'm just doing the exact same thing as that Evil Sun Scarlet just creating the same shape but even smaller so leaving a decent edge of the Evil Sun Scarlet left and just creating that same outline with the orange So just at this point, make sure you're still making all of the flames end in points. So you can kind of create the flames without doing the points at first, and then just come back and finish off the tips of those flames with some of the points. All right, so next step, I'm just using some of this Avalon Sunset and doing pretty much the exact same method. So at this point, you can kind of just come up from the bottom and do triangles with just a little pointy flick at the end. It, it eventually reaches a point where you don't really have to create blocks. You can just make these triangles coming up from the bottom Right, so lastly, I'm just making a 50-50 mix of Avalon Sunset and this white. But you could use something like Sharp D Bone, something like that. It'd still come out with a similar effect. And I'm just kind of going along the edge here and just raising up tiny points where each of those yellow points are from the previous step. And I'm kind of going along the edge here to make the base of the flame look hot and bright. And yeah, that's pretty much it.
So I've just finished up by painting the trim here. You can see that effect the flame has. This looks really good, unlike fully painted salamander armor. You can see here I've done half the step, half of the steps on this salamander. So you can see the kind of effect it'll give. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like. I'll be uploading a lot more videos. And thanks for watching.